Nah, bro is mad disrespectful, bro. Nah, bro, who is this guy? Bro, he look like Andrew Tate uncle. Like, who is this guy? This guy is next up, actually. Why is he not as big as Andrew Tate, bro? He next up. He next up. Nah, he really is next up, bro. Yo, chat, I don't know who the f*** he is, but... Yo, I gotta get him on the E day. Yo, guys, I'm scrapping that Tristan Tate E day, bro. Yo, I gotta get Alpha Kick Nemo on stream, bro. Nah, bootleg Andrew Tate kind of, kind of spit it. Ain't gonna lie, hold on. An overweight acquaintance of mine once asked. Overweight acquaintance, bro. That fucking uh, a Lador guy or a Chanel's brother. An overweight acquaintance of mine once asked me, "Am I homophobic?" I stopped in my track. I looked him dead in the eyes. And I said, when I was in sixth grade, I had to be desk buddies with a fairy boy. And I never once tried to hit him. So how the f could I be a homophobe? Then I asked him what? to look down at his feet and tell me the color of his shoes without moving his belly to the side. Everybody what? laughed. He went home crying. What? But that's what he gets for breaking Alpha King rule number 15, which is you never make fun of anyone. What? That sh makes no sense. Nah, a lot of it, it makes sense because he's like, yo, uh, the wife should, you know, suck you, you know, th that shit made no sense. F this guy, <laughs> yo, f him and his bullet. Head. Nah, bro, what? Chat? Okay. Tipping in America is crazy. I went yeah. to a Starbucks recently. Bro, tipping in America is crazy. I don't know if y'all been through this, but they'll have like this iPad and they'll flip the iPad over and they'll hold it and they'll look you straight in your eyes and you like feel hella guilty for clicking no tip. So like you always like, it's like a, a psychological warfare to really make you tip. Like don't get tempted by that Recently, And I ordered a, a croissant. Mm -hmm. Or a croissant. And then the barista spun the machine around. It said, do you want a tip? This this yeah. And then I asked her, I said, do people normally tip here at <laughs> Starbucks? And she said to me, yeah, people tip if they want to be nice. If they want to be nice? And then she said it with a voice where it was sort of an attitude. Mm -hmm. And then I said, okay, well, if I tip, do I get a blow? <laughs> you said that? And for how uh, long? Uh, homie loves Long story short, she actually called the cops. They what? arrested me, they, they pushed me away. I remember thinking that I would have actually tipped her if she wasn't such a bitch. You know, and that's actually Alpha King rule number 14. You can attract way more bees with honey than a beehive. Nah, is, is not doing it, bro. Is not, is not, is not doing it. Is he like being a joking? Like, is this parody, guys? Or, or, or is he being serious? Q in Chinese, Qu ni da, Qu ni da, Qu ni da. I teach my new friends languages all the time. I remember once I was at a nightclub in Beijing. My friend and I saw a stunning local woman right next to the bar. And he asked me to give him romantic Chinese sentence to say to her. I told him to say, Wu Shang Ban Shan Yi, which means, hello, beautiful. I watched him walk over to her. And within a few minutes, he was arrested and taken away. It was all part of my plan. I told him to say to her, I want to kidnap you tonight because I thought the girl was cute too and I wanted my own shot. Don't be concerned for your competition. Alpha King number 47. If you want something, take it and don't feel bad about it. All right, bro. And hey, we're done with all that shit. Bro, nah, I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to get him on the stream though. He, he could put us on Alpha King mindset. I wish people would judge you for what you are on the inside rather than the outside. I also wish that Kim Kardashian was sucking my c right now. But a wish. Is bro, something. how is bro's face a straight face in the back? Like, I can't take him seriously. I'm just that. A wish. By the way, that was a joke. I love my wife. The more we allow body positivity, the more we are allowing indulgence in obesity. Nah, facts. That that's why I was kind of fat shaming uh, her brother or whatever. Like I felt bad, but he has too many yes men around him, making him tacos every day. 
Like so, someone needs to put him in his place, you know? So to all my fatties out there, put down the Twinkie and pick up a dumbbell. And that's out for King rule number 48. Nah, I actually like that one, bro. You know, you gotta take care of your body, bro. Your body is your character. You wake up and look at yourself in the mirror every day. You should, you know, take care of your character and customize it. Can you be broke and be an alpha? I speak from personal experience. I have a great woman so. on my side. And I think it's important to have one to be successful in this age. Okay, okay. For example, I knew when my wife and I, I knew the first moment that we knew we were going to get married. It was the first night that we were going to actually make and love. She, was she told she was a virgin. And I, virgin. Con I confided in her that I was also a virgin. And we decided that we were going to lose it together. That's why our bond is so strong. Wow, dude. In reality, she was like my 14th. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought you said no, that you had like her, a But her thing. ass was so fat, I couldn't resist. That's bro, actually- this guy is not real. Gentleman. Yo, nah, he is not real, bro. Cause, cause, no, cause Andrew Tate, like the words that come out of his mouth, he tries to look like intelligent and like sound sophisticated. Bro just sound like us. Like he sounds like us. Right there. <laughs> yeah, you that know. That ass is so fat, it made me a virgin. Well, yeah, well that's Alpha King number nine. Do whatever it is. <laughs> oh my God god bro nah yo that yo he's good bro i don't think he blew up yet yo shout out to people linking stuff and that's not trolling years ago i went over to a yo, friend's the fact that these are yo and this one has 500k so we can look at it. house for a small get together i took a couple girls with me well i thought i thought you had a wife it was obvious that one of the girls that was gorgeous she had her eyes set on my friend the host I knew I didn't have a chance, so I had to get creative fast. I excuse <laughs> Bro, Fousey, yo, what is his name that we call him? Fousey Tate G, top, top, top Fousey G, bro. Myself from the dinner party, I went to the bathroom and I shit on the toilet seat. What? Then I rejoined everybody back at the dinner table. Oh, <laughs> what? And I asked my friend, hey, why do you have shit? On your toilet seat. Nah, that that wouldn't work because he would go in there like, yo ass just left the toilet. It was you. Like, the, the, this strat does not work. I've tried it once. I shit on the toilet seat. I left. And then I, I, try, I tried to pin it on someone, but by the texture and they saw some rice grains in my shit. So they were like, that's your shit. He tried to deny it, but none of us believed it. I ended up taking that girl home that night. Remember, Alpha King rule number 18. When you're losing, creativity is your best friend. Now, yo, and we do get creative, bro. I was trying that Trump Riz out a little bit. You know what I mean? Foozy tape, bro. I don't even know, bro. This is too much. I'm gonna be honest, bro. My chat keeps saying Zerka owns you, bro. Started really pissing me off, bro. Nah, I own Zerka. Zerka has like a few junky kids that. that say that he won but in reality i smashed i dominate him on that you smashed wait what no i dominate him on the stream oh okay yeah man it, the videos went viral and too but you know it's it is what it is they complain and and whine and zerka's a coward man he talks loud but he doesn't actually want to show up and do things back to the subject talking, bro. yo hold on your daddy's talking <laughs> so i'm the daddy and baby you never had honestly how tall Honestly, are you? probably the daddy you never had. Honestly. How tall Tate are you? Tate doesn't want to waste his time hey, with wait, you. Wait, wait, I don't want to. Tate doesn't want to waste his dad, time with you. My dude, Christian my, doesn't my want to waste his time with dad, you. My dad. Baby doesn't want to waste his time with you. The girl, Nima, the girl doesn't want to spend her. I'm not going to say her Nima, name. She doesn't want to spend her time with you. Nima. Yep. My dad has hair. Okay. No, he doesn't. Because I lost it at 23. <sighs> now, let's get, let's get back to the point. All right. <laughs> Tipping in America is crazy. I went to a Starbucks recently and I ordered a, a croissant. Mm -hmm. And then the barista spun the machine around. It said, do you want to tip? And then I asked her, I said, do people normally tip here at Starbucks? And she said to me, yeah, people tip if they want to be nice. If they want to be nice? And then she said it with a voice where it was sort of an attitude. Mm -hmm. And then I said, okay, well, if I tip, do I get a blow job? You said that? And for how long? Long story short, she actually called the cops. As they arrested me, they pushed me away. I remember thinking that I would have actually tipped her if she wasn't such a bitch. You know, and that's actually Alpha King rule number 14. You can attract way more bees with honey than a beehive. 